Hey art friends, in this lesson I'm going to show you a really fun way to draw a dragon face. I hope you're going to follow along with me. Now this lesson is more advanced so it's meant for kids that are 13 and up. Now even if there's some adults out there that want to follow along, I think that would be awesome. For this lesson you need a marker or something to draw with. You don't have to use a marker if you don't want to. Some paper and also something to color with at the very end. I'm going to use markers and colored pencils but you can use whatever you want. Alright, let's get started. I'm going to start by drawing the nose. I'm going to draw two circles in the middle of my paper. Then we're going to draw the shape that goes over the top of these nostrils. We're going to draw a curve here and also a curve on the other side that matches. Now the cool thing about this drawing is that we're going to draw it symmetrical. That means if you were to have an imaginary line down the middle of our paper, the left side is going to match the right side. So whatever we do on the left side, we're also going to draw on the right side, but the other direction. And remember, if I ever go too fast, you can always pause the video to take extra time to finish a step. Now I'm going to draw an upside down V to connect these two curves. Now let's draw a few more lines or V shapes coming back. Now this is going to be the snout of the nose going back to the eyes. So we drew two upside down V's. We can even draw another one on top. Also remember during this lesson, it's okay if you use your creativity to change your drawing, add more details, or even leave one of the steps off. Now let's draw the eyes. I'm going to draw two more circles on each side and we want to match the same size. So I'm going to draw this one a little bit bigger. Now that's okay because I'm going to color these in at the end. Now let's draw the eyebrows. We'll start here on the nose, go over the eye, can come back down and then back up. All right, now let's do that same line on the other side. I'm going to draw a line that goes over the eye, comes back down, and then back up. Now we're trying to match the same line on both sides. It's okay if they're not exactly the same. So this one's a little bit different than this line over here, and that's totally fine. All right, now let's draw the bottom of the eye. Let's draw a line that comes down and then connects in. And we'll do the same thing over here. For this face, we're going to use a lot of curved lines, a lot of S lines. We're going to also make things look like fire. So let's draw another line curving, an S curve coming up from the middle of the eye. Then let's curve back down and let's do another one of those S curves. Come up and then come back down and then let's draw another curve that comes out and we can even connect it back into that outside shape or outside line. Okay, let's do that same thing over here on the right side. Do an S curve, then we'll curve back down, do another S curve, curve back down, and then let's connect to that outside line. Let's do another line that matches that. Let's just repeat that same line that comes out, down, just kind of repeats that same shape right next to it. And then maybe right here at the end, let's come down and connect to the outside shape of the eye. Let's do the same thing on the left side. All right, now let's draw the top of our dragon's mouth. Draw another V right here in the middle in between the two nostrils. Then we can draw, let's draw another V or zigzag line that comes down and connects to the outside line of the nostril. So we'll go up, back down, and we can connect that in. Let's draw more flames coming out the side. We'll draw another curve coming up, down, and let's do one more that maybe comes out further to the side. Let's do that same line on the left side. Go up, down, and then out to the side. Now let's draw a line that comes right down the middle. Then on this side, let's curve down, back up, and then out again. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Down, back up, and then curve back down. All right, now let's connect the top down to the bottom. So let's draw a little zigzag, and then we'll curve down to the bottom and connect. Same thing over here. Down, connect to the bottom. Now let's add the teeth to our dragon. I'm gonna draw one big sharp tooth on the left and then repeat that same shape over here on the right. 
I like drawing things symmetrical because it really does give you practice to drawing that same shape on the other side. Now in between, let's draw a W and then let's draw another W on the other side to complete the top row of teeth. Now we're going to draw the bottom of the mouth. So we're going to draw a U shape. We'll start here on the outside, come down and then back up. Next, let's draw the bottom row of teeth. Draw a sharp upside down V and we'll do the same thing over here. Okay, now let's draw an M, letter M, and another letter M over here to fit the last few teeth. Let's draw another U shape. This is for the lip, his bottom lip. So we'll draw another one, comes around back up. For the shape of the lip, I was thicker down here, so further away at the bottom, and then closer together on the sides. Let's draw another design that goes underneath his jaw. This is gonna look like fire also, so we'll draw an S curve coming down. And repeat that same S curve on the other side. Then let's go back up, curve back down, do the same thing over here, up, and back down. It's looking awesome. <laughs> These are so much fun. And it is really fun to just use your own creativity to add as many designs or extra lines, little extra details that you want to. Now we have these two lines down here at the bottom. Let's just connect with an upside down U. Next, let's draw the whiskers. I, I don't know what they're called, but this shape that comes off of the nose and down. It kind of looks like a longer mustache. This looks like a mustache, but we're gonna draw another one behind it. So we'll start up here on top of his nostril. We're gonna imagine this line going behind this first shape right here, coming out the side and then down here at the bottom. Then I'm gonna draw an S curve that comes up on the outside. Let's do that same thing over here on this side. So we'll curve, connect here, and then imagine it going behind and then coming out the bottom. And we're gonna curve back up on the outside. Next, let's give that more thickness. We can start here and we're gonna repeat that same line that comes out and just follows the first line that we drew. Imagine it going behind. And then as I get to the end, I'm gonna get closer and then come to a point. And repeat that same thing over here on the left side. Come out and around. Imagine it going behind the first shape. Come down and get closer to the end until you come to a point. All right, now let's draw the main shape of his head coming out towards the top. So we'll start here. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Come back in. Let's finish the left side and then we'll come back and complete the other side too. So we'll come in, back out, and just let's create some zigzags that come up to the top. And then I'm gonna do that same thing over here. In, come back out, curve up, and then back in to the eyebrow shape. Next, let's come in here and we'll add more lines underneath the eyes. So I'm gonna draw another curve, maybe even come back and draw another one on top, on top of that one or next to it. Then we can do that same thing over here. Draw one more next to it. Next, let's draw the top of his head. I'm gonna draw another upside down V shape that comes up, back down. Maybe this is a horn. Draw another one over here on this side and let's go all the way to the top of the paper and then curve back down. Now the left side and the right side look a little bit different, but that's okay. Let's just keep going. I'm gonna add more curves up and down. Let's do another one that goes all the way up to the top and then back down. Okay, let's repeat that same thing over here. We'll curve up, down, do the S curve so it curves in and then back out and then curve down. In between the two eyebrows, Let's draw a curve and let's draw a couple more that comes up and connects to those two 
horn shapes at the top. Now I know I've probably gone too fast on some of the steps, but I hope that you guys have used your own creativity to change your dragon. Now I'm gonna fast forward this next part and add even more details. I hope you guys do the same. All right, I got a little carried away, but had so much fun drawing extra things on my dragon face. Now this next part is my favorite step of any drawing, and that is coloring it. I hope you guys are gonna take time also to color your drawings. Now this part I am gonna fast forward one more time, but at the end, if you wanna match some of the same coloring or use my drawing as inspiration, feel free to pause the video at the very end. Now remember, you don't have to color it exactly like mine. You don't have to add the shading or the highlights either. Just use your own creativity and color your dragons any way you want. I hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with me and drawing your own dragons. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye.